All right, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. Shoebird here once again with some Red Dead Redemption 2. Since my last two videos went so damn well, <laughs> right, I decided I might as well keep it going. Uh, mostly just for my own fun, but I'll record it along the way so you can enjoy some of the antics and probably most likely my failures because that's how good I am at gaming. But uh, today, uh, we finally got to the part of the campaign where uh, I can go ahead and select different um, uh, missions to do. So that's what we're going to do here today. I'll leave the campfire, or not campfire. <laughs> I'll leave the fire pit behind, although it's all nice and warm and crackly. I'll uh, open this drawer because I forgot to do that. Uh, there's nothing <laughs> in it, so I'll close it again. You know, you don't want open drawers around. You just You just bash your knee on them and stuff like that. Basically, I want to look around and see if I can discover anything. How about instead of just looking in a mirror, you, like, clean this place up a little bit, huh, lady? But no, out here in the snow and the cold, your makeup is what's important. Um, let's see. We got Dutch over here. Can I even talk to him yet? Okay there, Dutch. Thank you. Thank you for bringing John back. Finally, some relief. He's beat up, but he'll be all right, I hope. Gosh, just listening to that wind, I feel cold. <laughs> uh, is there anything out here? Does not look like it. I mean, this is nice. We could uh, chop up those wagon wheels, throw them in the fire. Take this apart, whatever that was, throw it in the fire. Let's head outside and see how good my frame rate sustains. Uh, we could talk to Bill over there, but I think I want to talk to Pearson first. I think I do anyways. A little bit of yellow snow from the horses. That's just lovely. Gosh, the attention to detail. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Except that. That looks a little strange. That snow on that roof. Anyways, let's talk to our dumb cook over here. <coughs> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. It's all your fault anyways. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. <laughs> we were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. <laughs> we'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. <laughs> Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Why didn't you go hunting, Pearson? Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Yeah, right. yeah, I am. Let's head out. I mean, I do know how to shoot a bow and arrow, but I don't like to. Oh, so beautiful. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. Oh, that was weird. 
Stuff that kind of so, just popped into existence on the right hand side back there. Something to kill, it ain't no Driscoll. Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Yeah, what did happen on that boat? So I have yet to adjust any uh, graphics. It's all the default middle setting. There's like a little slider you can adjust, or you can go through and manually adjust them, but I just did the little slider. And, uh... I don't know, it looks pretty damn good to me. Uh, whether you compare it to the PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, I, you know, I don't know. I'd have to have them side by side to be able to see the difference in detail. But uh, we're gonna go out here, we're gonna do some hunting. We're gonna get us a deer. Uh, I think we learned how to use dead eye or eagle here. eye or whatever they call it. Let's look down this way. Hmm. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. Stay quiet as we're on horses that are just thump, thump, thump. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Uh, careful. <sighs> Alright, so you gotta get hit. Oh, no, wait. There's deer been here. Recently. I'm gonna cat my horsey. Not Good horsey. Not. Let's walk it from here. You okay. gotta need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. Alright, so you have a horse inventory and you have your own inventory. The gun will scare everything around. Quiet as you can. Stay All right. Low and move slowly. Being quiet. Oh, I see the deer trails you're looking at. Yep, yep. You see the tracks? Uh, I think I so. do. Look at what that snow Maybe just not. did where I'm sitting. Focus. It's weird. Why is it that? Middle mouse button? Didn't I change it? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. I changed it to a side mouse button, Let's which is moving. number pad five for me, but it's so much easier to hit. Now, one tip I learned about the eagle eye is pop in and out of it, because if you just sit in it, you drain your, your meter, whatever, for it. Though I can focus the track like this. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. I don't know, it's a cool little cheat system. I know there's people that don't use it at all because they want just total realism in the game. Like they turn all the heads up display kind of elements off and where'd it go? Oh, it's up here. I was like, I'm sitting here, it's glowing and I still lose it. <laughs> I probably would not be good at that. Um, oh, what is it? Shh. Down there. Hunter call of the him? wild. Are you ready with that bow? Aim for their head or neck. We want a good, clean kill. Get good tension on the string before releasing. Just don't overdo it. Now, Arthur. Good shot. Got it. Now let's try for another. How did that give me a plus three? I don't... Yeah, 
that uh, increased my health somehow. I'm not 100% sure what that was, but whatever. We'll keep hunting. I really, really, really hope this isn't one of those games where I just get so entranced in the actual gameplay that I forget to, like, say something to you. You know, the viewing audience. I mean, the game speaks for itself, for sure. But, you know, you still want good conversation, don't you? I mean, some people do. Some people would rather just play the game themselves, and that's okay, too. Am I too far away, or can I hit it? There's two of them? What? Got it. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Yeah, probably. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. All right, you I'll sure get this one. You sure your hands okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Yeah, why didn't you just go grab the other one? All right, pick it up. This is where third person gets to be a little bit weird because when you're trying to pick something up, you have to look down at it. So you're tilting your camera way up like this to basically put what would be your cursor on it. Oh, I can do F1 for details, that's right. Yeah, I'm hitting F1, it's not doing anything. All right, fine, I'll look at it later. I'm probably sure that I'm not gonna get a lot of the extra achievements, you know? Things like headshots or shot percentage or whatever those things may be. You know, when you complete a mission and it gives you a grade, I, I'm probably not going to pass that test. So, don't expect me to be achievement hunting like that in this game. Alright, go ahead and store that on my horsey. I love how it just automatically gets roped up. What it's tied to, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, boy. I almost hit F again to slap my horse. Uh, which way did you come up? You came up this way, so let's go this way. Yep. Gonna meet up with Javier. Ready to head back when you are. Oh, never mind. This is come Charles. On, what am I talking about? Sorry, Charles. I didn't mean to call you Javier. That was an accident. What are you doing? Can't you control that thing? <laughs> oh, it. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. Yeah, it's easier when they ain't shooting back. He's first person on a horse. Seen enough of that. If that's not dizzying. Sure I don't know what is. Things were looking a couple of days back. Well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Oh yeah, baby, we'll figure something out. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. And that girl from the ranch now, too. But not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would too. She lost her husband, her home, everything. What she am I had. doing? <laughs> oh. So what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscolls you ran into there? Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we And again, I don't know how Dutch did not notice that they, they were O'Driscolls. 
I suppose. Yeah, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I mean, months. it's not like you know every single I one, I suppose. I because they've been over this way. Nah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Combe, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. Well, he's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. So, from what I understand, hungry. Stay well you back. can attack the bear. Storm storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. But I don't know if I've come across a story where somebody actually kills it. <laughs> I mean, it, it may be possible. Good one, boy. But all I've ever heard is the that <laughs> the bear just destroys you. Yes, yes, I just did that. Easy, boy. Calm down, boy. One of the biggest tips for calming your horse is continue to do that all the time. How long you been with us really now? increases your bonding Five, six with the horse. Something like that. But you didn't expect so, this. Like every what? five seconds, somebody this. said you can hit G. Blackwater mess. Being up here. Ah, uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought there, you your bonding right in now. the right goes you up. You want me to move on? No. Oh, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm Left done control with it. in space. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. Why are you I'm running into me on the Most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch... You know... Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. Dutch is he certainly different. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. Why are you running into me? Just go straight, dude. That's John, all you gotta do. Tell me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to Look at that tree just kind of bending this. awkwardly. <laughs> he always sees us right. Looks like it's barely hanging on. How's that new horse? It's a weird tree. He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Finally, back to the camp. Now we get to see the gruesome part where you skin the deer. Oh, yes, baby. <laughs> I'm going to hitch time over here. If you're faint of heart, don't watch. Brought some food back, boys. How is there already blood on the ground right here where... I'm about to hitch this horse. Oh no, that's poop. <laughs> oh, my stupid colorblind eyes. Oh, I hate it. He's over to Pearson. Oh, yeah. Thank you for showing me how to use the boat properly. <laughs> Only showed Speaking you a little. of poop. <laughs> There's a lifetime of practice to master. Right as I am about to get the deer off the horse, the horse takes a shit. You're a poopy horse. Well, well, 
Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. To find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? <coughs> Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. No, you that's how you that get, one get an if infection. You dumped on the floor there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't like kind of gory things, look away, because we're about to skin this deer. Just peels the skin right off. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always Ugh. said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these and pretty much any town if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money of course right now i'm just looking to get off this mountain alive well if you catch anything else you bring it to me sure <laughs> thank you mr morgan heck arthur morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years yeah <laughs> well we're on the run now everyone's got to do their bit to survive just make a good stew folk need it it's been a tough few days. <sighs> well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got ourselves a deer. We skinned it. I don't know why he's just letting that other one sit. And actually, what the hell? Dude, how did you do that? Because we put that deer on the right hook. And now it's on the left hook. Rockstar, what are you doing to us? Just come on. <laughs> well that'll be it for me for this episode nice little bit of hunting we did there now we can go in the next video and talk to bill i think it's bill anyways we'll do that next thanks for watching hope you're enjoying it like and subscribe and all that kind of good stuff or you know leave a comment if you have any suggestions for things i can do differently or you know, constructive criticisms and whatever. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you.